How are you doing, everybody? This is Israel. I'm here again to introduce you a little bit more about iOS uh, voiceover features on the iPhone. This is, again, uh, version 7.1. Um, it's the newest version as of March of 2014. So if you don't have this, uh, go ahead and download it. It's actually really good. They added some cool stuff. Today, I'm going to talk about the rotor. And the rotors actually can be a very powerful tool for you or for your, your uh, student or client or consumer. And uh, that's because it does a lot of different things. It's a it does very specific functions in different areas. And some of these include things Edit. like adjusting speech, uh, volume, navigating through web pages and documents in very specific ways. So it can be, it can be very, very powerful. Um, the thing with this intro, I just, it's just, just an introduction. What I want you to do is really take what you're going to learn here and try it. Try it in different places. Go to Safari, navigate around, go to um, messages and play with it a little bit. Um, and just use it anywhere and see how it works for you, what kind of messages or features pop up for you and how the phone navigates with the rotor. We're going to start this up. We're going to set it up and we're going to go to settings. So uh, here on the bottom right of my screen, double tap. Settings. In settings, I'm going to go to general, of course. So, Air, Bluetooth, cellular, blue, Air, setting. Oh, where'd I go? Air, y, blue, cell, no, con, do not disturb. General. Button. There's my general. General settings. Accessibility. Gen, uh, text so, accessibility button. Accessibility general back button. And the rotor is located inside the voiceover menu. Access so let's go in there. Voiceover on button. Voiceover. Accessibility. Back in, button. in the voiceover menu, I'm going to uh, actually just move down to the rotor area and just voice, 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 swipe double, swi to the right. You, 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 braille, but rotor, button. There's my rotor feature. So on this rotor feature, I'm going to double tap. Rotor. Voiceover. Back button. And you're going to notice that there's a big list. All of these things um, are items that you can turn on and activate as, as, as options for your rotor. Now, just because you have something on doesn't mean it's going to pop up. The feature that you select will only pop up in the context of where you use the rotor. So for example, if I turn on uh, lines feature here, uh, which is selected, I'm going to move down there so you can... Selected lines. Lines is selected right now. But if I use this rotor tool in, say, for example, pictures... Um, I'm not going to necessarily get lines because there's not a lot of text going on because I'm viewing pictures. So depending on where you are using uh, VoiceOver, this feature may or may not actually appear on the rotor function. Another thing you can do here is, is besides turning these features on and off, um, and of course you can turn them off by double tapping on them. Lines. Or turn them back on. Selected. Lines. Um, you can also move them. So let's say I don't use lines too much. I want it to be at the end of this menu that I'm going to use. Reorder lines. Button. Draggable. Double tap and hold. Wait for the sound. Then drag to rearrange. So I'm going to do exactly what it says. I'm going to double tap and hold. Okay. I'm going to move it where I want. I'm going to move it down. Move below volume. Moved below volume. There it is. So I, that's where I want it. I want volume above lines. Let it go, and I'm done. Now, this matters in the order of things. As I'm moving through this rotor menu, it will volume will appear first, then lines. So that's kind of a nice, nice thing to be able to do, is to move the order of things so it make it more efficient. So that's how you can adjust what appears on your rotor menu. Let's go actually use it. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to hit the Home button. Settings. And Tap to open. now on the home screen. I'm right on the, at the beginning, and I can simply use this home, uh, this rotor feature by using two fingers, and I'm going to do it like a radio dial. So imagine a radio dial I am holding on to, and I'm going to simply turn it clockwise to go forward, and just like you would turn the volume louder or change the station, you know, higher on the dial. Um, you're going to do the same thing if you want to go back. You're going to turn the volume lower by turning to the left. You're also going to move the dial back. So you're going to go back on that menu. Let me show you how this works. So forward, clockwise with those two fingers. Characters. And backwards, counterclockwise with these two fingers. Headings. Containers. Volume. 
Container. Forward. Headings. Characters. And backwards again. Headings. Containers. I'm going to look for a specific one. I'm going to look for speech rate because I should have had that selected. Headings. Oops. Come on. Characters. Speech rate. There it is. So there's my speech rate. And now that I have that selected as my option on rotor, to alter the option on rotor, I'm going to use one single finger and swipe up to increase this and swipe down to decrease it. So let's swipe up. 30%. 35 percent 40 percent 40 50 55 60 there's my speech rate increasing let's decrease it let's swipe down 55 50 percent 45 40 35 30 percent 25 percent and there you have it that's how the rotor works um, simply go through the rotor Words. and you can volume. pick something else you can decrease the volume 95 percent 90 percent 85 percent and any function that you select within that rotor you will be able to use as a Nav navigable or changeable function um, by swiping up or down. This The swipe up or swipe down is simply a forward or back um, option while you are using that rotor selectable feature. Um, so again, uh, this is just an intro. This is just an introduction into how to set it up, how to use it. Um, but what I want you to do is try it. Um, if you have voiceover on your phone, just turn on voiceover you start twisting and actually the rotor should be running. You should have different features available. Give it a go. Try it in Safari, try it in messages, try it in, try it in maps if you want to go crazy. Try it in different um, apps for yourself. And um, let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Uh, um, leave me a message. You can email me at israel at f64resources.com if you have any questions or leave the question below. Thanks a lot. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. Please visit our website at www.f64resources.com. We'll be posting more videos and other resources like this, so please be sure to sign up so we can notify you when we've uploaded more. That's www.f64resources.com. Thanks.